All right, so now we've worked out some techniques for doing some flat planes, but let's do some kind of more irregular shape here. So uh, let's uh, create a sphere, make it a little bit smaller, and uh, we'll add it to a cloner. And let's make our cloner a uh, grid array. Make it a sphere, looking good. And now let's uh, first. I'm going to add a metaball tag to our sphere here, just so we can have a little bit more control over the uh, metaball uh, uh, process. And let's see what size is this. Uh, there we go. All right, and then the whole thing becomes part of this. And now let's uh, kind of make this a little bit easier. I'm going to make our mesh because ultimately that's what we need to see. And now let's uh, go into that tag. And uh, let's just bring the radius down and maybe the strength to get it to hug it a little bit better. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Something, something like that. Let's uh, go into our meta ball. And Looking good. And let's see, does that make any difference? No, doesn't really need to. All right, so that's a nice looking shape, sort of like a little jack or a little kid's toy or something. But certainly as a regular uh, a shape as anything that you would uh, want to do with this technique. All right, so now first of all, we want just a mesh version of this. So do current state to object. And uh, let's hide the original one. And now with this, we don't even need to mess around with our displacer because we've already got a, a pretty organic shape. So we can just go right ahead with the uh, with the polygon reduction. And I'm holding down shift. And you can see already we're getting some nice, um, you know, these circular mesh patterns, which is just what we are looking for. And then you can see you just fine tune this, how, how much, how fine a mesh you want to make. I'll pick it somewhere in the middle, 92. All right. And now let's uh, make a uh, reduction of this. Current state to object. And then hide the one we were just playing with. And now we got this. Let's start by selecting all of our uh, edges are in edge mode and then I'm going to add a subdivision surface and that will become a child of our subdivision surface and make sure it's just doing it once is enough all right looking good now we can see already we're getting the nice little squished bubble type thing that is the characteristic of uh, the Veronoi pattern and let's once again current state to object and we'll hide this guy and now let's go into our edge mode and once again we have our original ones selected and we'll hit dis oops hit uh, dissolve and now we've got our nice mesh that we want that we remember from the other one so let's uh, just hit control A we selected all of our uh, all of our edges and we can already see the pattern coming out here looking looking pretty cool all right and let's uh with the bevel tool i don't want to do it too much just you know enough so we got some nice edges and check out some of those tight spots and make sure you're not having things like overlap but looking good like see even though it's pretty tight but that's a nice nice distribution yeah yeah look, looking fine looking fine all right, let's go into Polygon and just hit Delete. And there we go, we got our nice framework. And uh, let's build it up the way we did with the previous one with our uh, cloth surface. And our mesh becomes a child of that. And this one I'm gonna uh, turn off subdivision and make the thickness two. And two looks like kind of a lot for, for this one. 
but I don't know. We'll just leave it for now. And then uh, a subdivision surface. All right, looking really nice. Absolutely something you would find at the bottom of the ocean. Or something floating around in front of your microscope. And you can see you can go back on the fly. See, like now that is actually looking a little bit too thick. I'll do maybe one. And that's the nice part of this is as you're going through, you can fine tune it and adjust it to just the way you want or whatever you happen to need at the time. All right, so now this is a, a one way of doing an organic thing, but uh, this is just sort of a doohickey, kind of like those plants in um, uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, uh, in the next chapter, I'm going to do something where it's going to be something where uh, it's going to be a little bit more precise. Uh, so hold on, and uh, we'll get to it in just a minute.